Good morning, everyone. Today I'm at Riverbend Farm in Uxbridge, Massachusetts, doing Wildflowers 101, Episode 87. Today we will be looking at rough cockleburr. Nicknames common cockleburr, clotburr, large cockleburr, and woolly garyburr. It is in the daisy family, a coarse annual herbaceous weedy plant with spiny burrs. Considered a noxious weed and invasive. Causes severe crop loss in cotton and soybean fields. Blooms July through September. Flower colors greenish to white and rusty. They are disflowered heads grows in tight clusters. The male head is at the end of the stem one quarter to three inches across and round. The female head is on the leaf axle three quarters to one and a half inch long oval oblong. Leaves are green up to eight inches long, ovate to triangular shape with stiff hairs. The upper side of the leaf has sandpaper like texture. Underside is a lighter green. Leaves turn a pale yellow in the autumn time, often with three to five loads coarsely toothed. The tips are pointed, mostly alternate, sometimes opposite. Stems are green and burgundy with dark purple speckled spots. As it matures, it turns brown. They are thick, round to angled or ribbed. Grows one to four feet erect and branching. A rough textured with hairs. Here is the inside of the stem. It's white and beige and somewhat spongy. Roots are a taproot that extends laterally four to seven feet. Seeds. Prickly seeds, cylinder shaped, half inch to one and a half inches long. Tipped with two straightener in curved beaks. Depending on the age, find them in a variety of colors green yellow golden orange beige and rusty as they mature they will turn brown inside there are two oblong seeds here's the inside of the seed you will see the prickly sea birds throughout the winter the prickly sea birds inspired the invention of velcro habitat edges of rivers and lakes brackish or saltwater marshes coastal beaches disturbed areas fields and railways likes full to part shade moist to wet sandy loom native to north america some sources claim it originated in South Europe to Asia and has been extensively naturalized elsewhere. Pollinators. Rough cockle bird is primarily pollinated by the wind and predominantly self-pollinating. Although it is wind pollinated, it also relies on animals to disperse its seeds. The plant's burr head has hooked spines that attach to the animal's fur, helping to transport the seed to new location. Here you will see a horse that is covered with rough cockle burr. The seeds will also stick to clothing, helping it to spread. When I got home, I found one of the prickly sea birds on my husband's jacket, so we definitely want to dispose of this properly because I don't want it to take over my yard. Many insects feed on the leaves and stems, such as leaf beetles, leaf miner, fly larvae, aphids, weevils, and longhorn beetles. Food source for deer, elk, morning dove, finch, and rodents, but rarely eaten. Although the seeds are toxic to mammals and birds, several types of mammals and birds can tolerate the seeds' toxicity in small amounts. Warning, rough cocklebird is toxic to humans, livestock, dogs, and cats, and it can be fatal. Pollen can cause hay fever, and the stems can cause dermatitis to sensitive skin. Rough cocklebird is not edible, recommended not to eat. Medicinal uses, arthritis, kidney disease, tuberculosis, and wound healing. However, there is no scientific data to support these uses. Spiritual meaning, symbol of perseverance, represents growth, rebirth, and vitality. Plants that resemble rough cocklebird. Lesser burdock and common burdock. I hope you have a chance to see it bloom July through September. Peace, love, and joy. Always be humble, always be kind. Thanks for watching. See you next time.